Hello everyone. So already I hope you remember we learn how to configure the telnet and we done the lab. So now what we are going to learn, we are going to learn how we can configure the SSH and we will do the lab. So let me take one router and we will take one switch. Small topology we will take and let me take some computer and we will use some IP schema. So let me connect the device. I hope you already know because this is a basic packet tracer series. I hope you remember how we are doing the configuration. So if you see here this one I will put the label as R1 and this one is a label as SW1. And now this one we can say this is a PC I will assign some label here. Let me give me let me give you the IP here as 1.1. .1. So this IP I am going to use let me assign to the machine and gateway I will give the router IP I am going to give the uh, what we can say I am going to give this IP to the router interface 192.168.1.3 and in the switch I am going to give like 192.168 192.168.1.2 and here I am going to give that 192.168.1.3 okay and now if you see here we can do the configuration so we need to enable the SSH okay so first of all let me go to the router and we will do the configuration of the router this is a basic configuration we are doing here so what we will do here if you see this one I will write here no okay and then we can write enable then config T and host name this is a basic configuration we already learn okay so I am doing very fast that is just change the name of the router and we need to assign the IP we are using the interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0 so I am going to assign the IP IP address 192.168.1.3 and default subnet mask will be 255.255.255 and we will write no shut after that we need to remember now we need to do the SSH configuration so first of all I will create the enable password I will give enable password I will give ABC and then we need to create the local user so I am creating the local user ABC and the password is ABC okay this with this command I enable the password enable password I enable with this command and the second command that, that is username I created one user with the username ABC and the password ABC after that what we can do we can do here IP domain okay IP domain domain name I can give ABC any name we can give I give ABC after that we will write crypto key generate RSA okay and we are generating the key I will give 2048 or 2024 any number we can give after that I will write IP SSH version 2 so we are going to use the version 2 then LAN VTY 0 to 4 and then we need to write here transport input SSH and LAN sorry transport input SSH then login local with this command we enable the SSH in this device and I will save the configuration that's all and we will go to the switch we are going to do the same thing in the switch but you need to remember in the layer 2 switch you cannot assign the IP address to the interface so in that scenario when you are using the layer 2 switch we need to assign the IP address to the VLAN we need to remember this one so what I will do I will do enable config T then I know by default we have the VLAN one and still we did not learn anything about the VLAN so what I will use I will use the default VLAN that is a VLAN 1 I will go under that VLAN by typing the command interface VLAN and then put 1 ok this way we will go under the VLAN because we want to assign the IP address to the VLAN so we need to write interface VLAN 1 and press enter if you see here it change as a INT so we are inside the interface VLAN 1 now we need to we need to assign the IP address so I will write IP and we can write here IP address and we can give whatever IP address we plan if you see we plan 192.168.1.2 so I will write 192.168.1.2 and then give you space write 255.255.0 .255 and I will write here no shut 
okay any doubts anything here nothing just we assign the ip address after that i will exit and we need to put the enable password so i will write enable password abc we need to create the username i will give user is abc and the password is abc after that what i can do i can like uh, i can start that one crypto key generate rsa and then rsa okay switch name we need to change because this is a default name it will not work so first we need to change the switch name so i change the switch name to this uh, sw1 after that i will write here crypto key generate please enter the domain name so we did not uh, enable the domain name so i will write ip domain domain same thing what we done before domain name abc after that we will do this crypto key generate and they will ask you the value any value we can give and then after that i will write ip ssh version 2 we want to use and then lan vty 0 to 4 login local and also we need to write transport input ssh okay then save the configuration that's all i hope it is clear in case if you face any issue let us know now we configure the ssh in the switch as well as in the router now i will go to the computer imagine this is your computer you will go here and you will click the prompt command prompt and then you will write here enable okay sorry not enable you will write ssh because you need to do the ssh so ssh then after that after that minus l and write here the username abc and put the ip address which device you want to ssh put that ip address i want to ssh the router so i put the router ip after that whatever password we give we need to write that one if you remember here what we created here we created the user if you see this command username is abc password is abc so here we write the username abc now we need to write the password so password is also abc so now i am able to access the router and enable password we give abc and i can write here show run so i can access the router configuration here i am accessing the router from this place i can go to the switch so i can do here ssh dash l and username abc and the ip address of the switch so if you see ip address of the switch is 1.2 and they will ask me the password so if you see i am inside the switch so what i done from here i go to the router from here i go here okay so you can do this way also or exit this okay exit this and then directly you can do router or switch if i want to access the switch i can write this way and then put the switch ip whatever the ip switch is having 1.2 switch ip is 1.2 so click here type 1.2 and click here and put the password you are inside the switch and you can put the enable password if you forget you need to remember that one and put password and write show ip interface brief you can see all the interface of the device okay and this is this way you can easily access the device with the help of ssh if you want to exit you can exit that's all and you have one more method also if you want to access the ssh you can go down like this and here you can see you have the telnet and ssh client click the here and here you need to select ssh put the ip address of the device this device so i will put 192.168.1.2 and here what is the name name we give username we give abc so put here abc and connect so they will ask you the password give the password abc and put enable then abc then write show uh, version or whatever configuration you want to check you can check if you want to exit write again exit this session will close and if you want to close write close if you don't want to close write no okay so this one we learn how we can access if you want to access same way the router also click here and put here the router ip 192.168.1.3 and put here the name a b c and click connect and then here write a b c enable enable password then write show version and you can see the version whatever the software we have for the router you know already when we write the show version you will get here the version version is 15.1 here and if you see from how much time this device is up you can see this is a cisco 2811 up time is 9 minutes 11 seconds so this way you can check also 
from how much time this device is up okay i hope you enjoy this video if you have any doubts you can uh, write in the comments follow us on the instagram and also join our telegram channel uh, if you need this uh, topology you can join our telegram channel we are sharing there and also like our facebook page okay thank you bye